In this video, we're going to set a static IP address on macOS and connect to the web page of an Intech device that's currently in a different IP address range. Using static IPs eliminates the need for a DHCP router and makes your network far more predictable. If first setting up your Intech device, its default IP address will be printed on the box. It's important when setting an IP address that your computer and Intech device share the same netmask but have different IPs to stop clashes. To keep things simple, we recommend using the same netmask as the device you're connecting to, often 255.000. We also recommend keeping the first three octets the same and only making the last one different. For example, if my Intech device IP was 192.168.0.10 with netmask 255.000, I would set my computer to have the same netmask and IP address 192.168.0.11. If your computer and Intech device have the same IP, they won't be able to communicate. Now this is what's referred to as an IP clash. In this example, I'm connecting directly to an S-Play with IP address 10.0.0.11 and netmask 255.0.0.0. Now for this, I'm using my Kensington USB hub although the process is identical for any class compliant Ethernet adapter. So to simplify this process, I'm going to turn off Wi-Fi so I've only got one active network adapter on my Mac. After that, I'm going to navigate to network preferences. Here we can see all devices connected, and on the top left, I've got my Kensington dock. I'll set this to manual IP, and I'll enter the IP address 10.0.0.100 and subnet mask 255.0.0.0. As we don't have a router in this setup, I'm just going to delete it. Now I'll press apply. Now this takes effect straight away, and if I open up my browser window, I can navigate to the S Play on 10.0.0.11. Hopefully, you found this useful. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave a comment or get in touch with the team via the website. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.